Hi, I'm Marie, and I'm a watercolor artist in central Indiana. When we last left, we were working on watercolor underpainting. And here's a fast forward view of the main composition with the underpainting in layer two. As you can see, I'm now working on the second layer of the background of the composition. I use the exact same painting style on the background as I do on the main composition with the hummingbird and the flowers. On my next painting, I'll focus more on the main elements of the painting. For me, the background of each work that I produce is just as important as the main composition. It fills in, it layers, and it creates a bold look. After the underpainting was complete, I decided I was going to draw in knockouts in the background of the composition. As you can see here, I'm currently knocking out more pieces to the puzzle in the background of the composition. I drew in very lightly some Easter eggs so that you can see how this works. Using a subtractive method, you can start to see the dragonfly in the background starting to take form. Before the water completely evaporates out of the paint and the paint is dry, I add in an extra layer of paint, which gives it a whimsical and almost psychedelic look. This is a very timed process because if the background is too wet, then the rest of the paint will just swirl together. And if the background is too dry, then the paint just sticks. Say hi to Lily again. She's my painting buddy. Working around the painting, you can see that I'm working on another knockout of a dragonfly in the background. As you can see, I have a piece of paper sitting over the top of the hummingbird. This is because on Yapo paper, when you have multiple layers, the paint starts to get sticky. The reason being, the watercolor does not completely absorb into the Yepo paper. If I don't have a piece of paper or something down with my hand, I can easily lift the paint that's already down in the multiple layers and ruin the composition. So it's always good to have something under my hand so I don't ruin the rest of the painting. Over the Prussian blue, I add in quinacridone magenta, and then I'm gonna add in some phthalo green. As I work my way up the painting, I have to be very selective in my color choices. Along with adding another layer of Prussian blue, I add in the phthalo green and new gombage. If you've ever read The Watercolor Bible by Joe Garcia, you know that blue and yellow don't make green. They make mud. As the paint starts to pull together on the bottom left corner, it's starting to create a muddy color.
No worries though, because the beauty of Yepo paper, you can relift that off and I can make everything bright again. This is the end of stage two layering. You can check out my website, subscribe to my YouTube channel, find me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.